Hey guys, it's Bama Mobs coming to you from northern Alabama and just look at this glorious October day in northern Alabama. Leaves just now starting to change colors. In the last two weeks, it's been like this. Just basically deep blue skies all the way around. So what I'm going to do today, all right, the first few days off, I've been having to do work at the house, you know, get the washer fixed, do paperwork, feed the cat, uh, just the basic house husband stuff. So now it's Thursday and we're going to go to the Sipsy Wilderness. Before you go to the Sipsy, be sure to get the real basics. One Snickers bar, a ton of matches, legitimate amount of toilet paper, and you never know, duct tape. On that intersection back there, that's the intersection of uh, Highway 195 and uh, Highway 257, otherwise known as the Curry Highway. Um, as we're hitting now, um, it's about 20 miles, maybe 24 miles to Noble Springs. Of note, you have the Blackwater restaurant here, driving up, and also the cutoff to go to the Clear Creek Rec area is right here on the right. This is otherwise known as Fall City Road, it takes you straight out to Clear Creek, that's where it ends at. That's just a short way from the uh, intersection back there, Oklahoma County Airport, off to our left. Continuing on. Yeah, this little area is about five miles right before you get to Double Springs. This is called Poplar Springs. And about the only thing here is Kathy's Food Mart, which also has a mechanic shop over there. Another quick note, especially for people coming from the Birmingham metro area. You know, it's real tempting to take I-65 and jet up and take Highway 157 over to the wilderness and all that type of stuff. But, you know, you want to get out of the rush rush. So I really recommend taking I-22 out to Jasper. Uh, go through Jasper to Highway 195, which is the road I'm on right now. And as you can tell, it's very scenic, especially this time of year, mid-October. All the leaves are changing colors. Um, but anyway, yeah, you want to slow down a little bit, go to rush through it, and it's a great ride from a Jasper on Highway 195 through Double Springs, and then you're in the wilderness, and on the other side of the wilderness, of course, you have Moulton in Lawrence County. And right now, we are passing Clear Creek. I just stopped here in uh, Double Springs. This is the Marathon Station that you'll see on your right as you're driving through. It's not too far from the Jacks. Jacks is right over there. This is called the Food Mart Marathon. And got me a cheeseburger and a couple liters of water. Alright, here we are at the intersection of Highway 278 and 33. This is actually the beginning of Highway 33. So you want to be on the right lane here. So this is the start of Highway 33 that takes you into the heart of the Sipsy Wilderness. If you take a left over there, you'll drive down a little ways, take a right, and that'll continue Highway 195 North, which will take you to Haleyville. But we're not going that way. We're going to the Brazil Trailhead, and here we go. Right, we're entering Lawrence County. So now we're out of Winston County into Lawrence. This is a little curvy road section, and this is what I call the halfway point, because it's about halfway in between Double Springs and Bolton. Again, we're on Highway 33. And some of the main trailheads are right around this curve here. And it'll come up quick, so usually most people blow by it, but giving y'all the heads up. So when you get this little curvy section, right when you cross into Lawrence County. Of 
first inch trail heads will come up fairly quick. That's mile marker 12 right there. Truck traffic. Usually, we see logging trucks mostly on this road. Uh, here it is. Yeah, so on this little straightaway here, right when you come up to the top of this curve, you'll be taking the immediate left if you're going to the Simpson Picnic area, Borden Trailhead, or the Randolph Trailhead. And there it is, right there, off to the left. Now, you won't take that first road. You'll come around and take the second. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's sort of like a split road back there, so it'll be a little bit tricky. But we're not going there. Been there many a time. So we're going on out to the Brazil Trailhead. So here is County Road 59, which is just inside of the Molten City limits. And there's an American Legion post number 25 right here. So now we're on County Road 59. And again, I was traveling uh, Highway 33 North, just inside of the Molten City limits, will be Highway 59, excuse me, <laughs> County Road 59. And this is also known as Coffee Road. Alright guys, this is Bama Mobs here. I stopped here at the four-way. I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's a uh, seemingly county road sign that has nothing on it. But here we're at a four-way stop. There's a historical marker over there. Haven't been over there. Cemetery right here. And here's the uh, general store that they talked about on the internet site that I looked at. So they said dilapidated, dilapidated general store. This seems to be it. So this road right here will be Gum Pond Road or County Road Number 7, which basically is a dirt road. So here we go. All right, here we go, going up the hill, baby. We'll see if the Yaris makes it. Am I about to get out and lock in the hubs? I don't know, man. We made it. The RS has plenty of horsepower, man. Plenty of horsepower. Yeah, we're definitely out in the wilderness now. But good news, they actually have excellent size here deep in the forest. So there's County Road 7, so we'll continue off the ride up here. All right, back again, guys. This is Bama Mobs. We've just now come to the end of County Road number seven. And to let you know, I didn't measure the mileage, but it is a ways out here. So we'll be on County Road seven for a while to get out here to the start of the trail. There'll be a lot of potholes. Um, there's going to be some ruts in the road. So if you're in a four run or a grader, I mean, probably no problems. But like if you're like me in a Yaris, you're going to take some time coming down through there because I went bumpity bump a couple of times. All right, so here's the start of the trail. This is Brazil Trail. There's no markings here um, that I've seen so far. Nothing that says Brazil Trail. Nothing that says um, Trail 228. Uh, so I'm just going to take it at choice. Um, and there's a huge parking lot here. Here at the end. I did not expect this. I expect having to park on the side of the road. But as you can tell on a Thursday at around noon it's just me all right so we got to get started this is an eight mile hike let's hit it remember before you get on that trail have your water have your water and have your water plus have some matches a little something to eat I probably have a blanket in there I got a little poncho liner just in case things go south a little basic first aid kit don't go on the trail stupid you know have some type of staff i mean legitimate staff that's hardcore um you just never know what's going to come up always tell your family where you're going to be at i told my daughter i've left a message on the table so everybody knows where i'm at they know if i don't call back by 8 p.m 
Might need to get somebody come get daddy. Well, guys, um, as I first walked in here, I guess about 100 yards from that gate back there, there is a uh, Baycan National Forest information display here. Um, there's a map here, too. I really don't see where it says you are here. But anyway, it don't matter. You know you got to the right place. All right, here we go. My first impressions of the trail is a sort of a rocky, sandy trail, firm grip, and uh, really just right width. So this trail is not uh, difficult at all thus far. Just saw this on my left, trail 210, which is not the one we're looking for. Okay guys, we're making progress, just came to this sort of clear area. So we've uh, ended uh, 228, and now this is a uh, Forest Service Road 208. And my directions say, take a left. So here we are. So uh, we just left 228 from the parking lot. Now we're coming here to 208, we're taking a left. And I think we're going to go this way for about a third of a mile. All right, made it to the next direction change. So we're gonna get on trail 224. We're gonna take a right, which is right over there. And that's 208 continuing straight ahead and 224 to the right. We'll stay on this trail for one mile. Ooh, this is going pretty swift. All right, we got to trail 204. So we just came from there. Now we're here at trail 204, which we are going to take for one mile. And then there's supposed to be a fork on the trail, and we're going to be a right, which will take us down into the uh, B Branch area. This is pretty cool here. This would be a cool camping place. Uh, obviously, people don't. Maybe over there in the past, I might camped out. Again. A few clouds moving in. There's a cold front moving in this evening, which means in Alabama terms, is it's going to get the high is only going to be 65 degrees. I mean, it's going to be like frigid, man. And then the lows, it may get all the way down to 40. Yeah, 40 in October. Unbelievable. All right, so let's press O. Again, we're on trail. 204. Here's one of the older markers here. All right, let's hit it. Whew, all right, guys, we have made it to the fork in the road. So to the left, you're continuing on the regular 204 trail. To the right, this is the B Branch Trail that would take you down to the big tree. Uh, I think, well, about five years ago, I took my two sons here and uh, pretty sure I had them take a picture in front of this marker. You can barely see where it says 204 there. And then, unfortunately, someone came down here in the middle and said TB or the B is that way. If you can make that out. Anyway, hey, made good progress. 
like I said, today was a super day for a hike. You know, deep blue skies, actually one or two clouds now. So this is definitely a great hike. And I would probably recommend October. I mean, it's not too hot. Um, leaves are changing colors. Maybe a little bit later in October. Uh, I'm sure all the leaves will be pretty much in, gone by mid-November. Um, anyway, here we go. All right, coming down into B Branch Holler, pretty much straight down. Just got to be uh, careful with your footing here. I'm just following the roots from this tree, is what I'm doing. If I was about 20 years younger, I'd probably just bounce them down, but I'm not. Uh, yeah, so I just went down right there, just root, 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 and I'll get back on the ground. Let's head off over here. And right down here. Yeah, so this is B Branch Holler right now. And to tell you what, it is eerily quiet. I know this doesn't give you good perspective, but there's just a massive drop off right there. And right down here is super dangerous. Uh, I just came from up there, down the trail. 204 down here to the holler and <clears throat> this is a sure drop off where you see those trees right there there and there that's a uh, about 200 foot down <clears throat> i'm walking down here extremely slowly so here's b branch right here i guess you call that b branch falls and I'm not going to get distracted here. If I fall to my right, I ain't going to fall that far. It'd be sort of impossible to fall to my left. Come on in to give you a view. I think I'll just hang up right here. So there it is. There's B Branch Falls. There's the B Branch area. And yeah, like I said, that is just a sheer drop. So don't be fooling around up here. If you got kids, hang on to their hands the entire time. You know, a kid can shoot away from you in about five seconds. And I'll not try to be too dramatic here, but it would just be sheer tragedy. But enough for that. Um, you're an adult. You know how to take care of your own kids. I mean, this whole area is awesome. It's just like sealed off. And yeah, there it is. There's a bee branch. And right down there is the falls. Yeah, this is super awesome, man. Video does not do it justice. You have to get yourself out here to the Sipsy Wilderness. So this is B Branch. And now we're slowly going to walk up to the falls here. Slowly walking up to the falls. Bring my stick down. I'm going to put my hand on this tree right here. And that is it.
It's about as close as you can get. It is a little bit unnerving being up here. Can I back away? Three points of contact at all times. And you can see down in there. I'm sure that was a some type of shelter millennia ago. And now we're gonna work our way on down there to the big tree. Hey, this is Bama Mobs coming back and running low on power. This is probably the last video. And with it being the last video, yes, there it is. Yes, unbelievable. Uh, we found the big tree. It's right down here in B Branch Holler. I'd say probably 100 yards away from the uh, waterfall that we saw a minute ago. Uh, it's an excellent area down here to go exploring. All types of rocks and boulders to climb. Um, chase crawdads in the creek. No big fish down there with some minnows. Um, but otherwise, hey, so that was the trip. Um, I'll see you back at the car at some point, and I hope you enjoy the video. This is an extra just for y'all. Very bottom of the falls. Massive wedge all the way around.